Next. And now this one, your, our brain will hang a bit. Two particles in a progressive wave are distance 10 cm apart. 10 cm apart, okay. The two graphs show the variation with time t of the displacement d of two of the two particles. Okay, before I go to the answer, let me brain this thing a bit. What is happening here? Two particles on a progressive wave. When I see these graphs, I see these are in terms of time. So what I'm really seeing oh, is there is a wave, like the actual wave. Okay, even imagine it, this is an axis against distance. And this is, I guess, displacement. Ah. Oh, sorry, D and let's call this X then. Like, you know, you take a picture of the seaside, you see the wave going up and down, and that's the wave. So there are two particles here. Maybe, maybe one is here, maybe one is here. And then if you look at that particular particle going up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, then you plot a graph, up, down, up, down. So you are really looking at one particle and the other moving up and down. And what is their graph? So, how do we start this thing? You can look at the graph here. Let's look at particle number one. We give them names. Particle number one, in time, uh, this is in time, okay? If you take a stopwatch, it will start to move downwards from the highest point. So this particle is moving down at the beginning. Whereas on the other hand, this other particle, once you start timer and it moves along in time, you will realize that the particle will start to move up, oscillating. This is in time. You you watch that one particle go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So then we go back to our graph on the right. Okay. So if you imagine there's a wave here, this whole wave is moving at a certain velocity. Where would particle one be if it is moving down next? So we can kind of Try to imagine and see, okay, wave move to the right means this whole wave is going to move like that, move away. So a particle that moved down next would probably be something like this here. Maybe this could be particle number one. Because as the wave moves to the right, this particle will go down next. It's riding the wave. So this one will go down. Then you look at the other one. From the lowest point, it will start to go up. So that sounds like a particle will be somewhere here. Because as I pull the wave to the right, this whole wave, that particle will begin to go up the slope. So this is probably where particle 2 will be. Mm. Alright, now only I look at the answers. Okay, A. Particle in a longitudinal wave with a compression and nearest rarefaction separated by 10 cm. Okay, so this is 1 and 2, right? They told us these two particles are 10 cm apart. 10 cm. So here when they say compression and rarefaction, kind of think of compression as, you could say the peak, rarefaction is the trough. Is it 10 cm apart? Looks kind of correct. Our particle one is up there, you can call it a compression. This one, you could call it a rarefaction. 10 cm, right? Hmm, sounds correct. Huh? So maybe the answer might be A. That's how you can think of it. So let's give me another label here. Huh? Here to here, they told us it's 10 cm because of this. Okay, so A might be correct, but I want to check the rest just in case. B, longitudinal wave compression, rarefaction. Okay, still looking at the distance. Separated by 20 cm. Cannot be. 20 cm is from here to here already. That is peak and peak. One full wavelength or compression and compression. So if I were to change this sentence, this should probably be compression. Hmm, wrong now. Let's look at C. Particle in transverse wave, peak and trough separated by 20 cm. This is definitely not 20 cm, it's 10 cm. Peak and throw is only 10. Okay, no. D. Transverse wave with two adjacent peaks separated by 10 cm. This is not a peak, this is a peak and a valley. So cannot be two adjacent peaks. Wrong. So best choice here would be A. 
So the tricky part here is probably how do you know from this graph where the particle is? So it does help to be able to recognize the two types of graph. The first one in terms of time and the second one in terms of distance. So if I were to plot the axis here, this would be in terms of distance. Okay, and the whole wave is traveling. 